This coming June 2024 is set to be absolutely massive for the Nintendo Switch, as it will be setting the home console slash handheld hybrid up for its last big wave of games before the release of the Switch 2. The Nintendo Switch is over 7 years old at this point, and so many fans are anxious for Nintendo to release the new, more powerful hardware that will allow the company to release more ambitious games. But while there are many who want Nintendo to move on and release the Switch 2 console, the company is still not done with the original. Nintendo still has some ambitious plans for Nintendo Switch hardware, with hopes that the console will pass the Nintendo DS's lifetime sales by the end of the fiscal year. This would put the Switch lifetime sales within striking distance of Sony's PlayStation 2, meaning the Switch stands a realistic shot at one day becoming the best-selling video game console of all time. If Nintendo wants the Switch's strong hardware sales to continue, it will need to provide new games that will draw in new customers. The upcoming Pokemon Legends ZA releasing in 2025 will no doubt help in that regard, but the console's second half of 2024 is looking rather barren at the moment. Nintendo has confirmed that its second half of the 2024 slate will be revealed at an upcoming Nintendo Direct presentation in June, which is why that month is going to be absolutely massive for the Switch. At the time of this video, Nintendo has mostly kept quiet about the Switch's 2024 lineup. Fans know that the Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door remake is releasing on May 23rd, while Luigi's Mansion 2 HD is releasing June 27th, but otherwise, the company's plans for the year are largely a mystery. Nintendo has established a cadence of releasing at least one big new Switch game nearly every month, and while there may be a gap in the summer, it seems likely that trend will continue in the months leading up to the 2024 holiday shopping season. It remains to be seen exactly what Nintendo has in store for the Switch in the second half of 2024, but more information on that front will come at the June 2024 Nintendo Direct. Nintendo has not provided a specific date for this Direct, but it has said that the event will be focused entirely on the Nintendo Switch software. Some fans may be disappointed that they won't be able to tune in and learn about the Switch 2 console, but this means Nintendo can use the event to focus exclusively on setting the Switch up for a massive second half of 2024 filled with games. Of course, Nintendo fans will be wondering exactly what games they may be treated to at the 2024 Nintendo Direct. It's impossible to know what Nintendo has up its sleeve, but there have been various leaks and rumors over the years about upcoming Switch games that have yet to be actualized. That could be because there is nothing to those rumors and they aren't based in reality, but it also could be because Nintendo has just been waiting for the right time to release those games. There's no guarantee that any of the games listed here are going to be seen at the Direct, so fans should keep their expectations in check, but all of these titles have been rumored or leaked at some point or another. There has been a lot of talk about a 2D Donkey Kong game that may be in development. Recently, it came to light that a 3D Donkey Kong game from Vicarious Visions was cancelled, but that project seems to be unrelated. Nintendo announcing its plans to expand Super Nintendo World with Donkey Kong content has lent credibility to the idea that a new 2D Donkey Kong game is in the works, but such a project has yet to be announced. Other projects that have been rumored for a while but have not been revealed include a new Fire Emblem game that is a remake of one of the franchise's older titles, in particular the fourth Fire Emblem game, Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War. In addition, a new Super Mario Baseball game has been rumored, and it's been a whopping 16 years since the last time Nintendo released a Mario Baseball game, so it definitely seems like a great spin-off series to make a comeback. As far as Metroid Prime goes, Nintendo finally released Metroid Prime Remastered last year after years of leaks and rumors. Shortly after Metroid Prime Remastered was released, Reliable Insider suggested that Nintendo had plans to bring Metroid Prime 2 and Prime 3 to the Switch as well, though those will likely be enhanced ports as opposed to full-blown remasters. Some have said that Nintendo has already finished those games and is just simply sitting on them. The same goes for Switch ports of the Wii U Zelda remasters. Unfortunately for Zelda fans, The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD and The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess HD remain trapped on the Wii U at the time of this video. For many, bringing those beloved games to the Switch is a no-brainer. 
but Nintendo has yet to pull the trigger for one reason or another. Since it's highly unlikely Nintendo has a new Zelda waiting in the wings for the Switch, bringing these classics to the system could help fill the void and keep fans satisfied while they wait for the inevitable main series Zelda game for the Switch 2. All that said, Nintendo has two major Switch games that still need proper showcases. Pokemon Legends ZA was revealed earlier this year with a somewhat vague concept trailer that confirmed its setting and the return of Mega Evolutions. No gameplay of Pokemon Legends ZA has been shown yet, and so the game seems like a safe bet for the June 2024 Direct. Pokemon Legends ZA's release date is planned for 2025, so the game could very well be the Switch's swan song whenever it's out. That really depends on the elephant in the room though, Metroid Prime 4. Metroid Prime 4 was one of the first games Nintendo ever announced for the Switch, yet seven years later, fans have still yet to see a single screenshot. The reason for this is Metroid Prime 4's development was rebooted, with Nintendo seemingly unsatisfied with the work that had been done by Bandai Namco. The project was then handed over to old collaborators Retro Studios, the team that made the original Metroid Prime trilogy. There have been some rumblings that Nintendo is going to bring Metroid Prime 4 to the Switch 2, but as of the latest official word, the game is still expected to come to the original Switch. Maybe it will be a Breath of the Wild situation where Metroid Prime 4 is released simultaneously for the original Switch and the Switch 2 hardware, but since the Switch 2 is rumored to be backwards compatible anyway, that seems unlikely. Whatever the case may be, here's hoping fans get a long-awaited update on Metroid Prime 4 at the big Nintendo Direct that's set to take place in June, while also hoping to avoid further coping. And that's all for this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time!